going on guys? Harold here, Figure Mania Show. Hope you guys are well wherever you are in the world. And in today's video, we're taking a look at the brand new SH Monster Arts Gamera 2023 from Gamera Rebirth, which is due to come out very soon on Netflix. I spent a few days uh, doing toy photography with this figure and I'm very, very happy with it, guys. So I'm gonna uh, give you guys a, a closer look at the figure and I'm gonna to explain to you why I think you guys should definitely pick up this figure. The brand new Gamera comes loaded with uh, a bunch of things that uh, you get with this figure. Now, let me start off with the stand itself. So this is a really nice looking stand. I really like the, uh, the translucent green plastic, okay? And uh, the, the uh, the cup where where it holds Gamera is, is nice as well. Very easy to assemble. All right, guys, so I wanna turn your attention quickly to the, uh, to the instructions. Do look at your instructions carefully to make sure you know how to manage uh, your figure. Now, it may seem a little bit complicated and daunting at first, but then uh, once you, um, you know, you keep you 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 play around with it. You'll get the hang of it, and it's and it's really not difficult to uh, to play around with your figure and switch things out and, and, and all that. Okay, giving you guys a look at his uh, this body piece of Gamera. This is in his flying mode, so um, it's got a lot of nice detail. So you can see like his uh, his feet are tucked in there. Okay, and uh, I guess that's where the exhaust comes out. I mean, with this figure, I mean, there's no exhaust pieces, which would be nice if we got them, but you know, inevitably, we will get like a, another version of this figure and we'll, that will have different accessories and things. Okay, so just uh, giving you guys a look at the, uh, at the detail of the paint. So it's got like, you know, uh, it's got like tints of green, blue, and uh, you know, like turquoise and stuff. And this, the, the paint application is, is pretty um, consistent throughout the entire figure, which I will show you uh, in a bit. Giving you a look at Gamera's wings, so it's got a lot of nice detail there as well. Okay, so these are fairly sharp, okay? So uh, just be mindful, okay? So again, it would be nice if we had like exhaust pieces, because you know, like if you see in the, in the trailers, uh, you know, like he's got like booster, uh, exhaust coming out of his wings as well and here's the other one so very nice I really like it let's take a closer look at Gamera himself and this figure is just awesome very nice details throughout the entire figure his shell very nicely done and this figure is pretty uh, heavy. It's pretty hefty. So he's got uh, he's got good weight, and uh, the tail too. There's a nice articulation range for the tail. Okay, so moving it up, moving it down. Well, I just came off it. Like this comes off easy. At least on my figure, it comes off fairly easy. So um, hopefully, you guys will get a good. Uh, figure because I have seen other people like uh, the great figure man he had issues with his figure but uh, I'm happy to report that with this figure there's I have no issues with this figure whatsoever so giving you guys a closer look at the details on his face so I'm just uh, switching adjusting a camera for you guys and I really like how how they painted the eyes on this figure very very nice also the teeth so I'm just gonna open up uh, before I do that I just want to give you guys a look I mean his he can close his mouth all the way which is really really good really nice so now opening up his mouth a lot of nice detail there in the teeth and in the mouth okay so I'm just gonna adjust the camera a little bit more for you guys the eyes are 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 almost uh, if not uh, the same okay they're yeah they're pretty much the same okay I like that like the nice uh, touch of green and blacks in the eyes and all that okay so uh, let's go down uh, down the figure itself so you can see 
So there's more of that coloring that I, that I mentioned earlier. Now this, uh, the, the intersection of, um, of Gamera, this midsection here, that's got like this, uh, this metallic green, greenish paint. And it's really nice. Now I went out and bought a, uh, a green, a green uh, laser pen. And you guys will see later in the in the in, in the photos. So like when I use th this, I mean this it, it just lights up and it's just really really cool. Really like it. I even uh, use the laser pen for the eyes. Let me just adjust the camera for you guys again. And I get like a nice effect uh, for gam for Gamera's eyes because I have a feeling like uh, given like the posters and everything. His eyes do light up green, and I'm pretty sure that midsection there also lights up green as well. So, like, for those of you guys doing toy photography out there, and um, I do recommend that you guys find a green laser pen. Uh, this is a lot of fun. You, you guys will see in my photos. I had uh, quite a bit of fun with this. All right, so now let's look at uh, further down. Just adjusting the camera. Oops, sorry, guys. So a lot of nice detail on the legs, the feet. Okay. This figure is just awesome. It's very, very well made and it's very well engineered as well. Let's look at Gamera's articulation in his uh, turtle form or monster form. So, you know, he's uh, he can look down about that much, look up about that much. He can uh, turn his head very well. At least, at least like that much, he'll turn it, be able to turn his head. I mean, there's a lot of articulation pieces, like free folding pieces in the neck. So you may have to just like wiggle things around just to get the, the right pose that you're looking for. So for you toy photographers and stop motion artists, uh, you need to be aware of that. But uh, this is, again, like I keep saying, but like this figure is just awesome. I, I think you guys should, you will have a lot of fun with this figure. Now, one of the biggest changes, I mean, I, I'm not a big Gamera guy. I only have uh, one other Gamera, which is Gamera 1999. And um, that th this figure blows that figure out of the water, in my opinion. And he's got arms. So, like, you know, you can, uh, he can raise his arms all the way up like that. And uh, he can almost touch his face. Okay. Very nice. Now, there's a lot of... Uh, now there's like a lot of uh, articulation points on his arms. So there's one right there and you can swivel. I mean, it's kind of tight in there right now, but uh, I'm pretty sure like the more I, uh, I play around with it, you know, it, it'll, it'll get looser and, and things have been getting a little bit looser, but for the good, for the better. Okay, so see like on this arm, on this arm right now. So like, um, you know, you're getting, you can get good bends, you can get good, uh, good articulation, good posing. Okay, I really, really like it. It's just, you know, just this design change on this camera. It really, for me, really makes the difference. I really didn't like doing toy photography with the camera before, like with my 1999 figure, but this figure, I, I, you know, it's, it's really, uh, I, I really changed my mind on camera, at least for this version of camera. I think he's really, really cool. Okay, and then just looking at the, at the legs, so, you know, he's got a lot of articulation points uh, on his legs as well. Okay, so. Very cool. So, I mean, he's not that poseable. I mean, there is no, there is no uh, torso articulation that's non-existent because of the way the figure is engineered. Okay, but uh, you just have to wear, work around it. And, um, but he's just overall, he's just a phenomenal figure he's very well engineered he's very well colored he's very he's just awesome now let's get into Gamera's flight mode transformation okay so here's what you guys need to do so uh, pull the arms out okay so thankfully on my figure there's there you know no uh, no sockets and no joints have been stuck on the body I know for my friend uh, the great figure man that wasn't the case so he had to go out and get another one, get it replaced. Okay, so very cool. So just taking it apart. So he, it almost feels like a transformer almost, you know. So then you take this part, pull it out. Okay. Oh, I forgot. You, Yeah, you remove the tail, but it, it, it did that on its own, which is okay. 
All right, and then uh, you pull this piece out. Whoa. Okay, so you guys saw the the head fly off with like all the neck pieces and all that. That's the first time it happened. I mean, I, and all the other times that I did this, that that didn't happen. So that happened for the very first time. But you get the like the little the his head attached to his uh, his his shell, and it's hollow. All right. So let me just put that down, and let me just grab uh, these other pieces here. So you get this, and this is it's fairly straightforward. So you just line that up and there you go so there you have the uh his flight mode at least his body and then you take this okay so i'm gonna move his head up so it can accommodate uh, it can accommodate his uh his body here i had to stop filming because i noticed something was wrong with the neck so i had the the neck pieces uh placed wrong so that's why it was giving me difficulty so let me try that again, and this shouldn't pose a problem this time. Let me see. And there you go. Perfect. Okay. So, so transformation for Gamera is fairly easy. Okay, so um, yeah, just be, be mindful of the head that it, it might pop off on you like when you pull it off. I mean, as it did for me, as you saw. All right, and then you take the wings. Okay, so this part here for that. And this part here for this side. And there you got Gamera fully transformed in his flight mode. And he looks so cool. Look at that. And Gamera in his flight mode glory. And he looks super cool. So guys, are you guys looking forward to the anime? I mean, uh, all the tra the shorts and the trailers we've seen, it looks really, really good. I can't wait to see um, what this Gamera is all about. Let's get into some comparisons. And here we have Gamera 99. This is the first edition. I didn't I didn't bother getting the uh, the updated version, like with the head and the and the stump on his and his and his hand and stuff. So. Uh, so yeah, I mean, look, I mean, they're the same height pretty much, but he's just so much wider and thicker and things. And uh, I really like it. And look at it, the arms. I mean, they're, that, I think to me, that's the biggest change in the design of this camera. I mean, he can, he, can, he can raise his arms and he can look up all the way. I mean, he can do that too, like, re, you know, look up all the way, but like his arms is just very, very limited compared to the new camera. I mean, look at that. Okay, so um, you guys are going to have a lot of fun uh, posing this guy for photos and for doing stop motion and stuff. I mean, look at that, man. So they really did, uh, they really went all out for this figure, for sure. And here's some other comparisons. So here we have the San Diego Comic-Con Kong uh, 2021 and the Haya Toys Kong. And here we have a comparison with Haya Toys Godzilla 2019 and this looks very cool. I can't wait to do some photos with these two right here. And finally we have a comparison with the Ko Kyok Kyok Godzilla 1989. In my opinion, the greatest SH Monster Arts figure ever made. My opinion. And just giving you guys a final look at the comparisons with all the figures that we've seen here and this looks really cool okay so you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with this figure do uh you know matching them up uh, with other figures too with in your collection so get ready guys it, it's gonna be a lot of fun and there you have it guys we have a solid release from sh monster arts uh, guys, if you guys are Gamera fans or if you're into collecting toy photography, stop motion, uh, this is a figure worth picking up. You can do quite a bit with this figure uh, and you guys will see in my gallery uh, coming up uh, next. All right, guys. Now, uh, I just want to let you guys know that I do have Iris. Okay, so uh, here we go. So I got Iris. Here's a big box. All right, so I will be working on Iris next. Okay, so it'll take me about a week because I'm just so busy and things. So it, it took me it took me a while just to get this guy uh, 
the fit the review for this guy made so before i did that this one i did the haya toys godzilla uh heat ray version so guys go check that out i mean if you guys are into haya toy figures all right thank you very much for watching guys uh stay tuned to the end for my gal my toy photography gallery and uh thank you very much and i'll see you guys in the next video in about a week take care bye bye